So we just got pulled over by the police. <coughs> the national police. Who are over there. And we're not allowed to drive our motorbikes anymore. This is so sad. Guys, what is up? And welcome back to Dame Untamed. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nikki. And if you love travel and adventure, you've come to the right place. Every Wednesday, I upload a video showcasing a piece of my epic travel journey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so that you don't miss my next upload. Today, we are heading to Northern Vietnam to explore the rugged mountainous region of Ha Giang province. All right, fellow backpackers, I have found the world's best hostel ever. Look at how cute my little bed is with little curtains separating and the freaking bathroom. I'm sorry. Am I in a hotel? We've also got epic amounts of storage. All of my crap fits in there. Plus a little wee storage guy here. I don't even need adapters. Not even for my laptop cord. What is this? I'm so happy. So after I checked into my hostel, I befriended some pretty rad people who I actually ended up becoming really good friends with. We had a lot of fun exploring the local sites, eating all of the Vietnamese food, literally all of it. One dollar to try the most delicious street food and sit in these little tiny look at this fancy table we have here. We even had a night of drunken karaoke. We ended up in this Vietnamese hotel, in this private karaoke room, and absolutely went to town. There was some heart and soul in these songs. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh my God, 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 really, 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 really want to sing his name. After we got all of that out of our system, we decided to book a three night, four day tour of the Ha Giang Loop. When you're trying to decide what to pack, for a four day motorbike trip. And nobody knows what to bring. <laughs> into our epic journey into Northern Vietnam, we were stopped by the police, apparently, driving motorbikes without an international driver's license and or a motorcycle driver's license is not allowed. We kind of knew this, but our agency was like, don't worry about it, they won't stop you, like there's gonna be no problems. There were problems. They were like, we are not gonna allow you to continue on your trip, so you have to turn around. <laughs> Sucks for you, sorry. And we were like, ooh, what are we gonna do? Well. We got lucky. The tour agency called in some reinforcements and a few guys showed up and helped shuttle us past the pit stop. So we literally got on the back of our own bikes. These guys jumped on the front and drove us past all of the police checkpoints. And then we're like, here's your bike back. You can go on your merry way. Just love countries like that. Just breaking the rules a little bit. Price is averted. First highlight after getting past all of the craziness of our start was the Quan Ba Pass and the view of the Twin Mountains, also sometimes known as the Fairy Breast Mountains. Like, what? That's literally what they're called, the Fairy Breast Mountains. Fairy 
voluptuous and perky. hours of our drive on day one was crazy. We were driving on the windiest, most chaotic roads I have ever been on in the pitch black. Pitch black, winding roads, crazy vehicles, edge of a cliff, and <laughs> just a little cherry on top. Some of our bikes did not have lights. Hashtag Vietnam. So when we arrived at our homestay that night, we were so glad to be there, A, alive, and B, so that we could eat, obviously. We just drove for an hour in the pitch dark, and we and made it! Made it! And some of us still have lights on our motorcycles. Your hair is like, woo! <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm gonna get settled in, we were treated to a beautiful spread of hot pot for dinner, which I had never had. The food was so good on this trip. Oh my gosh, there was so much of it. So much food. Part of day two was our ride north along the Chinese border to the very most northern point in Vietnam.
drive north along the border, we were actually instructed to not get too close to said border. Now, when I say border, it's like a sketchy little wired fence, but there are heavily armed Chinese guards on duty. It was a big no-no to walk past a certain point or get too close to this border. We had to be pretty careful. We were then on our way to the Ma Pi Lang Pass, a very famous and probably the most impressive viewpoint in all of Northern Vietnam. treated to a beautiful dinner when we arrived at our homestay for the night in Meow Vac and we passed out. So day three did not start on the greatest foot or tire. <laughs> Today's minor inconvenience includes a flat tire. Good thing everyone drives motorbikes here and there's literally a repair shop on every corner. So, should be up and running shortly. Thanks to this gem. Flat tire number two of the day. But, we're getting fixed up. <laughs> was a small hem shop in the town of Quan Ba. This was a pretty neat spot. We learned the art of turning hemp into clothing and we met some really special people while we were there. talk about our incredible VIP homestay room like look at this how fun is this place and we have a hammock outside that I'm gonna hang out in we were treated to the most massive feast it was so much food and it was so good in one of the neighboring homestays we actually participated in a celebration of the Dao people <laughs> So when a man turns 18, it's almost like a coming of age celebration where there's dancing and a get together. And so it was really neat to experience that sort of cultural aspect of this trip. Unfortunately, the majority of day four was making our way back to Hajang. However, we did make one really cool stop. Everything I know will be gone in a minute. And that's all right. All right, cause I'm free. getting ready to tow a bike up the mountain because somebody <laughs> locked their key in their bike and this gem over here walks down the mountain with the key in his hand because he found it! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, we're so lucky. on another sleeper bus. <clears throat> Not excited about that experience. Please add Hezhang province to your list of things to do if you are in Northern Vietnam. You will not regret it. Obviously this video just showed you how many beautiful sites there are. A lot of cool cultural experiences. The food is amazing. I'm really glad I was able to meet those guys and share that awesome trip with them because we had such a good time. that's it for today hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did thank you so much to all of my subscribers you guys are amazing I appreciate your support everyone who likes comments shares my videos with their friends and family it means a lot so thank you so much stay safe guys I'll see you next time